Hi squad, what's up? It's me again. It's me. Plain old boring me. I know, I know. Hmm. I'm currently in the car, but I'm parked. Um, I'm waiting to meet some friends here at the mall. So I thought I would just film a little video called Senior Tips and Tricks. Um, I'm currently gonna be a college freshman going to a hashtag college do i want to go no am i going to go yes um but in this video i'm going to be telling you tips and tricks to survive your senior year how to make the most hashtag fun the most hashtag fresh um so yeah if you're a current senior basically keep watching because you're gonna need these tips and tricks from a past senior tip number one um make sure when you're going to your senior year that you don't get your expectations up super, super high, like High School Musical and like all these other movies and stuff because it's not gonna be like that. Let me just tell you, it's gonna be very stressful. You're gonna cry some of these times. Um, and if you don't cry, you just don't care about high school and about your life. Um, so basically, make sure you're on top of your grades, make sure you're on top of all your college application stuff. I'll talk about that later. Um, but also just have fun. Like not everything's about schoolwork. Not everything's about getting into your dream college. If you don't get into the college, you don't get into the college. They did not deserve you. That makes sense. People are watching me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> Tip number two, basically what I did my senior year is that it goes by super, super fast. And I know it's super cliche that eh, it goes by fast. But basically what I do is what I did is that I took Snapchat videos on my phone, obviously, um, just to record hashtag memories and just to have them inside my phone. But basically, in a year, you'll have that memory pop up in your like little memory box thing. Um, and you'll get super sad, but at least you'll have some memories. Tip number three, um, try and set a drama. There's a lot of drama at my school. Um, screw you, fake hoes. No, I was kidding. Um, no, but there's definitely a lot of drama at my school, just like every other high school. But basically, if you get into drama, make sure you stick your ground. Don't let people walk all over you because once you let people walk all over you, I'm gonna be disappointed and I'm gonna have to go beat them up for you. Um, but yeah, just uh, if someone's saying stuff about you, like if you're the type of person that doesn't really care about what they're saying, but just make sure that you're not seen as a weak person because once you're seen as a weak person, everyone freaking walks all over you and that's not how we roll on this YouTube channel, so possible and there's an ant on me how is there an ant on me how are you on me tip number four is basically get ready for your college life and your college years um by that i'm saying get ready for you to fulfill to fill out your fafsa get ready to look at campus tours of colleges um get ready to take your sat your sat is your number one key into getting into college uh, basically sadly i didn't take the sat seriously i scored not super low, but not as high as I possibly could because I already got accepted to the college I thought I wanted to go to. Um, but the SAT kind of averages out your GPA. So for example, some colleges told me that my GPA is so high, but that my SAT scores didn't reach, so they weren't able to accept me. Such as universities like UCLA, um, Cal State Los Angeles, what was the other ones I got denied from? Uh, UCR, UC Riverside. Um, so yeah, just take that stuff seriously and get ready for college because yeah, high school is all fun and stuff, but your life after high school is college. Tip number five to piggyback off of tip number four is you go into your guidance counselor's office, right? You ask her or him these questions and they'll usually help you. But what my gu guidance counselor did is that she called the university that I wanted to attend and asked for certain requisites or like certain GPA information or all these pieces of information just because these universities take your guidance counselors more seriously than they would take a senior from a high school, if that makes sense. So like your guidance counselor has better connections than you do. They have the proper words. They know how to talk smart. We might not know how to talk as smart. So have your guidance counselor do it if they are able to. Um, and if not, have one of your parents, have an adult. Basically, unless you're very intelligent, use your words, fam. Use your words. Tip number six is to basically live your life on the end. That was my hashtag life motto during senior year, YOLO squad. Um, basically by that, I'm saying your education and schoolwork and homework, yeah, it's very, very important and a key to graduating and stuff, but don't let that overrule your senior year or just your life in general. Like, um, for example, if you're trying to study for this big test, but like you're getting overwhelmed by it, just take a break, go out with friends for a day, for a night, um, 
just don't keep pushing yourself and pushing yourself because you're gonna soon burn out and living life on the edge makes it more fun to get those grades i don't know if that's making sense basically have fun do your schoolwork and still study but be dedicated in order to do both because you'll do fine you'll be fine trust me trust me if i could do it you could do it um i barely did it I barely graduated just kidding tip number seven i know this video is kind of late to where you might have already enrolled in classes but basically if you haven't or you can drop your class still or whatnot don't put too much on your plate basically my senior year I was trying to be student council vice president, that means president of the school, whatever. Um, I was trying to do AP calculus, AP Spanish, AP biology, honors English, economics and government, Bible, all these classes, right? And it just wasn't physically possible. Like, yeah, it looks good for your transcripts and stuff, but mentally, it's not safe for you to be doing that much work. And like I said, your senior year is gonna be fun. Like, don't let schoolwork just run your body down to the ground or your brain down to the ground um so basically what i did is i dropped being the student council president i dropped ap spanish so like i only had ap biology ap calculus honors english so it made my plate a little bit easier but don't be afraid to drop those classes tip number eight piggybacks off that one too um so basically my ap classes yeah they were not the hardest because of the school i went to but basically I sucked at the AP exam. I wasn't properly prepared for it. So a lot of people online always say, go to community college, pay a couple bucks, get the actual college credit that you need. Um, basically in the future, it'll be thankful, even though it might cost a little bit more. I paid $100 for the AP placement for both AP calculus and AP biology. Did I pass any of them? No. Did I get a one on both of them? Yes, I did. You need a three to pass, just to let you know. Um, so yeah, don't think that just because you're taking these high-end classes means you're automatically getting college credit because that's not how it really works. If you think you can't do it, try it. Try it for a couple weeks until you can drop the class if you feel uncomfortable with it. Um, just try it. I say go to community college instead. Make sure you're getting the right college credit. Um, yeah, kind of have to weigh out your chances. You know what I mean? Tip number nine is basically go into your senior year with a good attitude. A lot of my seniors went into the year with such a sucky attitude that rubs off on people, right? So if one senior has a bad attitude, it just slowly rubs off on every other senior. Um, so basically the attitude I'm talking about is that they can't wait to graduate. They don't want to be there no more. They can't wait to walk around, across that stupid graduation stage to grab that diploma. I always try to tell some, like, some of them that they're gonna regret it. This is their memories for the rest of their life and they want to live it miserably. Go ahead, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, certain times throughout the year, you're like, I can't wait to graduate, but it's just a certain excitement that you get. But literally, the day you graduate after you grab the diploma and your ceremony's over, you're gonna go home, you're gonna go in bed, right? You're gonna look at all the pictures and think about, this is what I waited for, for years. This is legit what I waited for and worked so hard for to walk across the straight stage and now it's over. Like, it kind of makes you sad a little bit, but then you're happy. Um, so basically, if you go into senior with a good attitude, you'll absorb all the memories and all like, it's just a lot of fun. Enjoy it. Tip number 10. I thought I was only gonna do 10 tips, but I'm gonna do maybe a few extra at the end. Um, but basically, tip number 10 is if your high school is not the best, if they're low budget or they don't have lots of money to spend on stuff, um, don't be afraid to do things for yourself basically saying if you want a student club go and start that club ask your principal ask your superintendent ask whoever um yeah basically if you want things to be happening during your senior year make them happen like um for example our student council president did do much for us even though i was trying to be president i dropped out she took over no shade no tea it's just there wasn't a lot of discipline in the school year right for student activities senior activities so when it came to grad night like certain things i would have to help i would have to tell other students to go tell the office because i know if i went in that office i would not be the class favorite with them because i would have been shot down with all my ideas um but just don't be afraid to ask if they say no if they shoot it down at least you ask and tried i don't know maybe you want to be president of the student council this year or the asb or 
you want to stay after school to earn community service hours just simply ask and if you get told a no it was a no you're in the same predicament that you were in the beginning tip number 11 enjoy every single minute of it i don't think you guys understand how precious senior year is to you as a person um i personally growed so much mentally everything during that year um it was a lot i was involved in a lot of drama i was super stressed out i didn't know where i wanted to go to college i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life but basically just enjoy every minute of it you'll get through it if you want to grab the diploma you will grab the diploma pretty soon but you still have to work hard for it um basically in high school you're gonna have some forever friends i have some forever friends i thought i had some forever friends but i had to drop them and don't be afraid to lose friends you're gonna gain more friends um just please enjoy every single moment of it i don't think you understand how much i wish i could go back to high school for just one day just to hang out with all my friends um be prepared that all your friends are not going to be in the same building anymore after that year. Like, literally, the, your last day of high school is the last day that you guys are all going to be together in the same building. Like, it just, it's crazy. Like, some of my friends are going to Arizona. Some are going to, where else are they going? So, one of my friends went to Texas. Um, they just go all over the place. Literally all over the place. So, just enjoy their presence as a senior class. Um... This is very hard. Uh, take lots of pictures, take lots of videos. Um, establish these relationships with your teachers, with your seniors, with lower classmen. Like, lower classmen have such an impact on seniors. I don't think I understand. Like, some of my best friends are lower classmen that are currently seniors now. Um, but when they graduate senior year, they're going to be in the same boat as you in college. So it doesn't matter just because they're lower classmen. Like, um, it was just such a fun year. It's such a fun year. Get ready for graduation. Decorate your grad cap. Do the whole shebang. Just live your life to the like the fullest. That's all I gotta say. Please do it for me if you're watching this. That's all I ask is that you guys live your life to the fullest. Enjoy it. Have fun. It's so exciting. Trust me. Yes, it's a lot of work. Yes, it's a lot of pain and headache, but it's so worth it. It's so much fun. Ooh, grand night. Go to Disneyland. Turn up. Ooh. Okay, squad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be the end of today's video. If you're a senior, don't be afraid to DM me. I will help you with any questions you have. Uh, I can help you with the whole college process of going into your freshman year after you're done graduating. I can help you with some certain questions about senior year. Please DM me. I love talking to some of you guys. Um, just enjoy it. Have fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. There gonna be more videos. I'll post another video when you guys are closer to graduation, fam. All right, squad. See you never. Ah, uh, it was a prank. Okay, bye. Love you. Peace out, seniors. What's up, class of 2020? Okay, Let's switch this up.